Good evening there. Welcome back to the channel. Tonight I'm with Corné Auerhand again. We just checked in at our hotel. We are now in Germany, uh, in Winterberg to be exact. And uh, yeah, we hope finally, after months of waiting, to see the Milky Way core rising for the first time this year without clouds. So let's go to our location, which uh, by the way is uh, just uh, just there. <laughs> Our big playground. So this will be the most relaxed astro shoot ever. <laughs> Let's scout this area. <laughs> Okay, so we are now scouting the area a bit and the first possible composition I found is a pretty obvious one. It's uh, of the hotel we are staying in because that might tell a good story, at least for us. And uh, yeah, you are looking to the east, which means later in the evening or, or early in the morning actually, around three o'clock, the Milky Way will be arching over the hotel. So this might be a good spot for a composition. So uh, I'll uh, check photo pills, how it will come out and then uh, we will look further for composition because it's now yeah, getting dark and it looks absolutely clear. This is gonna be a good night. Oh, we are so enthusiastic at the moment. Finally, finally clear skies and let's hope this will stay that way. I think I just found the second composition of the evening. Uh, you can see a path running uh, beside me, or maybe you can see it now if I shine a little bit. Uh, there's a tree. If I get my camera really low to the ground, I can get the tree free of the horizon. And in the background, you can see a bit of atmosphere of the valley behind it. Uh, it's not an award-winning composition, but hey, I, I like it. Um, yeah, the Milky Way core will be to the right of the tree at around three o'clock. Um, so yeah, that's excellent. Uh, Corné is now walking somewhere else on this field, probably enjoying the night sky, which is getting really dark now, really fast, seeing so many stars. We are in a Bortle 3 region here, uh, a bit Bortle 4 uh, in the valley, but yeah, I think we can get some pretty good results. So, uh, <sighs> super excited. Okay, let's shoot this foreground. So now I'm building up for another composition here. Uh, there's a path leading where the Milky Way course should be rising. Uh, pretty easy composition, tree on the left, path as a leading line. Beautiful stuff. I just spoke to Kone. Kone also has about five, six compositions already. It's now yeah, almost uh, 12 o'clock. That means that Astro Darkness is kicking in and it's really good. <laughs> So yeah, after this I have in mind to uh, find a bench somewhere and shoot a 50, me 50 millimeter composition with myself uh, on the bench as a sort of selfie looking into the rising core at 50 millimeters that should be uh, more or less, um, the core should be filling the frame pretty nice. So uh, yeah, let's uh, shoot this composition also and uh, maybe I'll find another one but after that we'll go back to our cars which is a grueling five minutes walk <laughs> and set, uh, set up our tracker somewhere with a free horizon. And uh, then we will start to slow down a little bit and relax and really enjoy the night sky. Because, uh, until now, it's looking really good. <sighs> what a hobby. So we uh, have just shot yeah, a couple of foregrounds. Maybe later this evening I will shot uh, shoot a little bit more. I don't have a 50 millimeter composition yet. It's not necessary, but uh, it's always nice to have a little bit more if possible. Um, as you can see, we are now about 200 meters from our hotel and we found the perfect uh, spot to set up our trackers. Uh, so yeah, we're just doing that now. It's now about 12 o'clock, uh, quarter past 12, I think. Astro Dark has kicked in and it's beautiful here. 
uh, yeah, you can see Cassiopeia there. And if you look there, uh, Cygnus, uh, Cygnus is already shown beautifully and we see Roa Fuki. So, uh, really epic. Yeah, so uh, let's set it up and uh, pull our line and wait for the Milky Way to come up a little bit higher and enjoy because sometimes you're only shooting, 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 but it's really important to just enjoy <laughs> sometimes. I often tend to forget it, but uh, we have enough time. Uh, Milky Way will be in a good position from around one o'clock, so that's 45 minutes until now. And maybe a little bit later, I'll start a panorama and then I'll just keep shooting on the core on my 20 millimeter lens and uh, maybe a 50 and uh, see how it goes. Kunai is already aligned, so <laughs> I should get going. <laughs> I was ready to start my favorite part of the night. After setting up the tracker and programming my camera for multiple stacks, it was time to really slow down and enjoy the beautiful dark skies around us. Well, look at that Milky Way. Just going over our hotel through Cassiopeia into the Cygnus region. Going to the right, through the Great Rift. There the core, of course, ending, not forgetting Row of Yuki. So we're now about uh, half an hour in of uh, shooting our uh, foreground shots. What are, uh, are you shooting at the moment, Kunne? I'm now figuring out to shoot a row at 135 millimeters, nice. which is here. Uh-huh. So the row of Fuki is uh, just showing up uh, above the horizon. I think it's at about 10 degrees. It's a really a handy tip, by the way, if you make a fist and you stretch it to the horizon, like I'm doing with row now, one fist is more or less 10 degrees above the horizon, just so you know. And you do it only 135. Really yeah. curious about the detail, man. Behind me, you can see that uh, the Milky Way core is rising beautifully. It is just climbing in the sky, getting higher and higher. It's also really good visible with the naked eye, uh, which has been a long, long time, I can tell you. Um, as you might have noticed, I uh, am also shooting with my Nikon camera again. Uh, my Nikon uh, is back because it was being astro modified. So what is astro modification? Uh, I might have told someone before, but I'll just repeat it. Um, especially in regions like the Cygnus region or Orion, there is a lot of uh, hydrogen alpha nebulae in the sky. Also around the core, you have some beautiful uh, red nebulae. And those nebula, um, uh, those red nebula are near the infrared spectrum uh, of the uh, color spectrum. And normally a standard stock camera has a infrared and UV uh, filter in front of it so that it cuts off that beautiful hydrogen alpha light. So what an astro modification is, um, uh, the person who does your modification, he just removes uh, that um, UV IR cut filter or only that uh, HA cut filter uh, so that your camera can capture the whole spectrum so those nebulae come out beautifully. Um, my modification was done uh, by uh, Marcus and Marcus uh, is um, yeah, the manager of the company Astro Astromodificationen.de. I'll pop the link up here for the uh, non-German speaking people here and I'm really happy with it so if um, you are looking to modify your camera, uh, contact Marcus. I have just uh, sent him a message uh, via Facebook, but you can also email him via his website. Marcus is very not knowledgeable, and what I really like about him is that he, um, if you remove the HA or the IR cut filter, uh, your sensor shifts a little bit. So the back focus distance will also shift a little bit. And he has some specialty equipment so that he can really fine tune your sensor back focus again so that your stars will be sharp across the frame. And yeah, it still looks exactly the same as before my modification. Um, uh, previously I've done also some modifications at other companies uh, with mixed results, but uh, if you're looking to modify your camera, check out Marcus, astromodificationen.de, good stuff. So for now I'm uh, going to look that way. 
before it gets light. <laughs> what a night, man. We have now been shooting for, I think, about two hours or something. Uh, it's uh, At least sky shooting. Yeah, one and a half, I think. And it's now two o'clock already. The sky is still really beautifully clear. We have some haze, some small clouds on the horizon, but they don't bother us at no, all, I think. Almost nothing. Yeah, I have just uh, um, completed my panorama. Uh, I had some difficulties, uh, challenges, uh, trying to figure out some stuff on my new camera, but in the end it worked out fine. I was busy for about one hour or something, could have finished it maybe in half an hour, but yeah, I just did three panels, ISO 1600, f2.8 and 45 seconds, and it looked really good. Uh, now I am just shooting a uh, horizontal core stack. What are you doing now, Corné? Uh, putting my camera back on. Yep. <laughs> Corné is operating two cameras tonight. Yeah, and one with a crappy, cheap remote control because my other is broken. So <laughs> but it does do work. It, I do, need to do it manually every two minutes. So you have to click in and click out and yes. kind of guess when your exposure no, needs I'll, to end. I'll, I'll make it um, uh, at the same time as my automatically uh, going uh, camera. Oh, so you're just manually syncing. Yeah. Some, something like that, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes but you have to works. work with what we yeah, get. <laughs> it works. So you have about four or five shots or something, if I'm correct. Uh, yeah, I might like have three, maybe. Uh, I'll do another stack, so I'll have four. I wanted to do a 50 meter and 50 millimeter shot also, but you know, running around making video and also wanting to enjoy the night sky, I don't think I have time anymore and I don't really care. Because, it's man, finally, really after about four or five months since February, when the uh, Milky Way core season starts for us here at this latitude, 52 degrees north, I haven't seen it without clouds. So we had some success in France, yeah, yeah. but that was, yeah, 50-50 clouds. <laughs> but this, this is way finally, better. Yeah. yeah, it's payback time. <laughs> yeah, so amazing. It's uh, getting light again. Astro Dark is over for now 15 yeah. minutes. We were still shooting a little bit more because well, we noticed that you can shoot about 15, 20 minutes uh, until after Astro Dark has ended uh, and your shots still look pretty good without seeing the sky getting brighter. So uh, yeah, we made use of it. Minutes, uh, 20 minutes after Astro Dark now, you can still see yeah. the Milky Way. It's insane. With the naked eye, you can see the great rift running there still. Uh, I even oh, thought I spotted the Dark Horse Nebula, but I'm not totally sure about that one. Anyways, uh, yeah, um, I'm really curious if my shots turn out well, uh, because the foregrounds, yeah, we only, only had about, I think, one and a half hours or something for the foreground, and it was already dark, yeah. but I think they look pretty good. I have enough. Yeah. Uh, panorama shots. I did everything on 20 millimeters. It was the idea to also shoot at 50 millimeters, but hey, you know, I really took my time to enjoy the sky. How yeah. was your night? Yeah, the same. The foregrounds were uh, okay. Yeah. But uh, the, the sky is so epic, it will make it uh, <laughs> still good. I think but, so uh, too. And I also have some, I have some good foreground shots, I think. So. Uh, it, Just, uh, it looked pretty nice. Yeah. And what also is good, you can see the hotel there behind us. We'll just pack in and we take the long hike back to our beds of about two minutes. Yeah. So <laughs> all totally yeah, worth it. Yeah. Uh, if our shots turn out to be any good, here are our shots. For now, I thank you again for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.